I think it would be a shame to do that. It's the modern world. And I'd understand why it's a safer bet to not put yourselves, you know, out there in an article and not put yourselves out there within, you know, in terms of social media. But that's the way the world's going. And I think what schools don't want to do is get left behind and become disconnected. I think it's always about weighing up the risk, which is exactly what we did when we decided to do educating. We said, okay, what are the risk factors? There could be some risk factors there. Um, but I also think there's risk factors in doing nothing and just staying as you are. You know, if you take any business, for example, that doesn't take risks and doesn't put themselves out there and doesn't push the boundaries in some way, take Blockbuster, for example, you know, they could have taken Netflix, the idea, and, and you know, done something amazing with it. They didn't, did, they didn't do that. They decided not to do that. And then they're not in business anymore. And Netflix is, you know, pretty much taking over the world, it seems, at the moment. Take uh, the idea of um, data on mobile phones. You know, Motorola in the early 2000s, when they had the Razer phone, very, made very famous from 24, that we all know and love. Um, they said, who would want data on the phone? Well, Steve Jobs said, we will definitely take that onto phones with the iPhone. So I think you, you've, you've always got to be looking to say, look, where is the general direction of travel in terms of the general landscape of life, never mind in education, and be willing to take some risks. They've got to be calculated risks, but I think, you know, if we just constantly stay in our comfort zone, we're not going to get too far, as a good friend of mine, Sir John Jones, says, comfort zones are pink, fluffy places where nothing grows. And he's right and you know to get to the next level in anything in life we've got to take some risks and I think within media more schools should be putting themselves out there and should be making a stand for what they believe in um, and trying to see if they can create some influence and change by doing that um, but it's a scary thing to do you know and it does take a brave call from head teachers and governors to put yourselves out there but I think it will become more of a necessity as we march forward into this world and as people start looking at schools differently, which I think they're already doing. I think there will be questions asked to how do you judge a school? You know, is a school just judged by Ofsted and exam results? Well, no, it never has been actually. So how do you find out about a school? Well, I think the social media and media profile will become a way in which people will get a lot of information about schools.